Today on FastSilicon.com, we're taking a look at another widescreen monitor from Hans G. This one, the Hans G HW192D. And as you'll be able to see, this is a pretty impressive little monitor. We you think you're going to like it. The Hans G HW192D is a 19-inch widescreen monitor sporting a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, a native resolution of 1440 by 900, and some pretty impressive specifications. It has a 5 millisecond pixel to pixel response time, a 700 to 1 contrast ratio, and a brightness spreading of 300 candles per square meter. It's also worthy to note that this is a true 8 bit per color pixel display, unlike earlier displays which only represented 6 bits per color. Now, we're previewing this in Windows, XP, Windows Vista excuse me, for a couple of reasons. Number one, Windows Vista is the operating system that most of us are going to begin caring about quite soon. Secondly, driver support. Inside the rather spartan box, it looks like it's a reject from Walmart. Very little, very little in the way of specifications on the outside of the box. Rather disappointing. You'll find the usual analog and digital cables, VGA and DVI, power cable, a quick start guide, and a CD. On the CD are drivers for Windows XP. These are necessary for Windows XP. These must be installed in order to properly support this display. Uh, however, they're not necessary in Windows Vista. Not at all. This display is natively supported, as are most all widescreens in Windows Vista, which is a one good reason to uh, consider switching to Windows Vista. As you can see in this view of Windows Vista desktop, uh, the monitor went at its native resolution of 1440 by 900. Absolutely crisp. Uh, God, I, I hate to even bring this up. My daughter, she just really had a problem with this. I, she, she really gave me a lot of grief about this desktop. I, I really don't know what her problem is. I was just getting all, I mean, you can practically count all the fibers in that carpet. That's such a lush carpet, such a, such a rich and detailed image of the carpet. And it's just, whoo, carpet. God, I love carpet. One feature that sets this monitor apart from many other inexpensive widescreens is the fact that the display is pivotable. Now, we'll look in just a second to see what kind of capabilities you can get with that. But pivoting the display is quite easy. There's a small button on the rear base that you, ins that you press. You push down, pull up, and you can then rotate the display. And as you'll see in just a moment, there are some productivity advantages for using this as a primary or secondary display in portrait mode. The portrait mode capabilities of this monitor are quite unusual, uh, somewhat common among widescreens. Some widescreens support rotation into portrait mode, some do not. As you can see, this can give you enhanced productivity in a number of ways. And here we have an Adobe Acrobat document that is a blatant advertisement for the Hans G monitor. This is the PDF document that comes with the monitor. Um, you can also view web pages, of course. And quite naturally, you can fit quite a lot more on screen this way. Uh, for a small home office, this would be an ideal setup for a secondary monitor, allowing you to drastically enhance your productivity. As you can see, as we pan around the image, and I'll try to do this as carefully as possible, the off-axis image quality is quite good. Uh, this is one detract detractor among many LCD monitors that once you go off-axis, uh, the image quality suffers and the brightness goes down greatly. But this monitor has an extremely bright backlight, and as you can see, it remains extremely bright at whatever angles. Mm. Don't you just love sand? The on-screen diagnostic controls are accessed from hitting a button on the side of the monitor, and it has the usual brightness and contrast adjustments. One maddening quality of this thing, I mean, it has brightness, contrast, color settings, some settings for the on-screen diagnostics. It's the usual settings you'll find on any uh, analog or LCD monitor. The only snag is, is that the buttons on the side are so small, they're just so small, that it's hard to figure out which button is which. There we go. Thankfully, this is something you're only going to do once or twice. 
you can also set separate settings for analog and digital input, but we found there to be no difference between analog and digital input whatsoever on this monitor. So if you don't have a video card that has a DVI connector, you're not really going to lose out anything. Right? We could tell no difference at all. Probably my favorite media player at the moment is KM Player. Not only because it doesn't rely on Windows codecs at all, but also because it gives you very fine granular control over aspect ratio. Now being a 1440 by 900 19 inch widescreen display, this display has an aspect ratio of 16 by 10 as opposed to 16 by 9 that you'll find on the, your typical high definition television set. But I think you will find that with the granular controls with KM Player, Previously quality. on Grey's Anatomy. That's where Georgie lives? Oh, George. Oh, Kelly. Don't, don't chase me anymore. I'm not sure if you catch me. You erased my name from Burke's Humpty Dumpty surgery. What I don't know is why. You okay? Absolutely. Stop worrying. The we have to know. I saw you there. At the nursing home with my mother. She lights up when you're around. You will notice some fading up and down. This is just the brightness control of the uh, of the camera that I'm using, adjusting to the uh, brightness changes in real time on the screen. The image is absolutely clear. Uh, there's no ghosting, no distortions, nothing. This is a phenomenal monitor for, monitor for viewing video. Not only is this an excellent monitor for video playback and for general desktop use, I think you'll agree with me that its gaming capabilities pretty phenomenal. Hold up a sec. I, I gotta catch my breath. Okay. Well, this might not be as easy as I thought. We're in the same boat as the other evacuees now. On foot to a train station. Let's head for the surface. Helps out much anyway. Uh, have a death wish, Al. That hurts. I think you can see this is a pretty good gaming experience. <laughs> all in all, we here at FastSilicon.com have been very impressed with Hans G's monitors. I'm particularly impressed with the HW192D. Uh, I've I've become accustomed to using a widescreen monitor now and I'm definitely not going back myself personally. Uh, the monitor has an extremely clear and bright display. Its off-axis viewing angle capabilities are excellent. Uh, it's absolutely rock bottom price. Uh, this monitor can be found anywhere from around $200 down to around $180, $170. You have to dig, and sometimes deal sites will uh, let you know when these things go on sale. Hunji's packaging is a little on the pedestrian. I found this in Walmart uh, side. Uh, but beyond that, this is definitely a sleeper product. Uh, I have nothing negative to say about the product itself, with the exception of the somewhat maddening on-screen diagnostic controls. Thankfully, uh, setting your color levels, contrast brightness, uh, color temperature, and any other balance controls that you may need to set for uh, your particular operating system, uh, it's a process that you're going to do once, maybe twice, and that's pretty much it. So it's not anything to get really upset about. Um, it would be nice if they had a little bit better on-screen diagnostic control, or at least had the buttons more conveniently located, or the buttons easier to feel. Uh, beyond that, this is an excellent monitor, an excellent buy, and we here at FastSilicon.com highly recommend the Hunge G HW192D. Oh man, I got to finish watching that anime video. It's pretty cool. Later, people. <laughs>